Yeah, so uh, Tim Anderson, the sales director with Automation Inc., which is a uh, one of the many distributors, uh, high-tech automation distributors underneath the Applied Automation Group. So we really work with a lot of integrators and end customers on helping them to develop and pick out the right components for their automation needs. And you know, right now in today's environment, there's uh, you know good demand for that. There's uh, one of many challenges a lot of folks are facing is labor shortages and getting qualified people into positions. So, you know, we will work with them and companies like Flex Bottings on uh, opportunities like machine tending, uh, where, you know, a lot of CNC operators are hard to come by. So, you know, utilizing components like uh, UR Robotics with the Flex Botics uh, CNC interfaces allows, you know, one or two CNC operators to maintain several machines and try to overcome those labor shortages that we're seeing right now. So from a machine tending standpoint, you look at a lot of component manufacturers from screw machines, uh, CNC, whether it's uh, you know, precision ground parts or uh, even uh, plastic ejection molding, especially today's environment, uh, automotive, uh, biomedical, a lot of folks are uh, getting more and more into the plastics. Um, you know, lighter weight, they're you know, coming up with newer products uh, that uh, are able to withstand the elementary. On the life sciences side, Hey, you got a lot of a lot of people who are uh, the boomer generation is getting older, so there's a higher demand for a lot of these pacemakers and other malleable places and whatnot. So, you know, working with those manufacturers on uh, machine tending, sorting, vision inspection, and quality control. So, there's a whole slew of uh, different applications and the customers that are reaching out to us and our partners that we work with. So, the level. Right now, you see a demand kind of coming out of some of the tech schools as far as you know, getting familiar with robotics and automation. So there's a bit of a learning curve you have to overcome. So having you know easy automation and easy products to work with is uh, is important on that you know time to implement uh, a new automation machine or a piece of the weather. One of the big things is, you know, obviously uh, redeployment of labor around. So, you know, you're, you're probably not going to let you replace anybody. You know, the whole idea is worker satisfaction. You get a lot of repetitive tasks. So you get employees who are unhappy with doing those sorts of tasks. And something with automation allows them to do jobs that are more meaningful to them and they find a little more interesting. So it actually helps with employee retention also helps with work-related injuries. So if you have repetitive tasks that can cause ergonomic issues, um, you can see immediate impacts with that, as well as you know, lights out operation. So if you've got a, a piece of your business where you want to be able to maybe run a little bit more continuously, you know, so with automation, you're, you're able to do that.